A couple of years ago, people were mad at me because I said we ought to have a, we ought to have a Muslim only check in line at our at our airports. There should be a separate line to scrutinize anybody with the name Abdul or Ahmed or Mohammed. We are afraid to offend Muslim Americans who don't want to have their feelings hurt. I think there are situations like this where we are afraid of uh, being accused of profiling. The fact is, while the overwhelming majority of Muslims are outstanding people, uh, on the other hand, 100 percent of the Islamic terrorists are, are Muslims. And that is our main enemy today. So while we should not be profiling people because of their religion, at the same time, we should not be bending over backwards to somehow keep them off a list. You know, we're not going to, just because you're a Muslim does not mean you're an enemy of the United States. But I thought Pete King made an excellent point, which is these terrorists are Islamic extremists. And so we do have to be on the lookout from people from the Middle East or from largely Muslim countries. If we do start a check line just for Muslims every time they're flying, uh, we are turning possibly a billion of the world's people against the United States. I mean, we have to... It can't get any worse. It, it actually can get a lot worse. I don't know how much and, worse. And the worst situation is to have a billion of the, of the world's people helping to harbor terrorists and They're doing um, that increasing now. their animus They're against doing the, that now. the United States. This is the problem we we've got. We've They're got not the doing that now when what his own father Mike, is Mike calling the U.S. Father? Embassy. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, there have been so many complaints about, quote, profiling by, right. the, right. quote, Isla Islamic civil rights groups that they stopped basically profiling and, and, and that basically led to not putting this guy on to the terrorist watch list. It would have been too much of, a, of an outcry. Number two, um, he was put on in the last month. I remind everyone that the person responsible for the second worst act of terrorism in this country, his last name was McVeigh. Oh, here we go, Tim McVeigh. I mean, again. We're he, not at war with Tim McVeigh's, we're, we're, Richard. We're at war with Muslim extremists named Abdul and Ahmed. These are young, angry terrorists this, who want to kill you, this, and they want to kill me, and you know it. Stop with the PC crap. Take these people well, and well, put well, them in a back room well, and make sure they don't have a condom filled with explosives let's, let's in their life. But we're still not doing the things we need to do. Our profiling system is not adequate. Uh, we don't want to offend anyone. So we're, we have a politically correct airline security system in the United States, and that's not good enough. Had they done that swab test on his particular uh, body or person, this could have led us to find In it. fact, he should have had that secondary screening, and the reason he should have had that secondary screening is because he bought his ticket with cash, he had no luggage, he fit the <laughs> fact base pattern and a one way and, ticket and should have been Hello. and a one way ticket and, and he ticket. should have been profiled oh, but let's not, not profile but not him. because but gotta... not because he had a funny sounding name we don't do that in this country what this well, what this is, what, what this says is that we are still a country at war we have to be very vigilant um, the the uh, administration is doing the right. same sorts of things yeah. that we did in the prior administration but, let's not but, make but the what Muslim we can't do, what we can't there, do is do it at expense of our civil liberties we got to leave it there